Welcome to another edition of Whiskey, Games, and Nerd Stuff. Today's whiskey is Jameson's Cold Brew, which we put in our coffee. It's always a nice little morning coffee, a Sunday morning coffee, when you just want to play a game while, the fam wait, while you wait for the family to wake up. Mm, so good. And today's Nerd Stuff is we're going to do a playthrough of Warp's Edge. Warp's Edge is a solo player game from Renegade Game Studios. It's a bag placement game, and I really enjoy it. The premise of the game is you're a ship fighting through waves of enemy to destroy the mothership. So we'll go ahead and kind of go through the play as we go. So the first thing we're going to do is you have step one, which the enemy arrives. You're going to flip over four ships. And how you're deciding what ships go in this card pool is each mothership will have a number of, of ships that, that you have to go through. So this is five yellows, four oranges, and three reds. So once the enemy arrives, then you have your pilot actions. The pilot actions is going to take five tokens out of this bag. You start with 10 starting tokens plus the yellow token from your ship, which has a special ability. So our five tokens, you're going to have lasers, you have maneuvers, and you have energy. So the first thing we're going to decide to do with these five, and I forgot something, so we'll go ahead and do it now. So you pick out two of these cards. And then you're going to pick one to use. So this card is the palm device. It's choose one token from your pool and remove it from the game. Gain one token from the supply or evade an enemy but do not gain. We'll take this one. So this is a card that we can play later on. And each warp we get to draw two of these. I always forget to take those cards. Um, and of course I forgot to take it um, during the gameplay video. So this is going to cost me. But the cool thing about this is you can pay it energy, remove something from your pool, and then replace it with one game token from the supply. So this is a really good card. In fact, I'm gonna use it right now. So I'm gonna pay this energy. I'm going to remove something from my pool, from the game, and I'm going to replace it, or gain, this level three. Now I'm gonna put it in the bag. So now let's go ahead and, you know what, let's take another sip of the whiskey. And I can only use these once every warp. So let's go ahead and see what we've got going on. So these are the damages that each ship can do to us. Discard tokens from this enemy. Hmm. So this is not going to be fun. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stun that. So we're going to shoot him for one. I'm going to place a maneuver token here and place a maneuver token here. So what's going to happen is now the enemy attacks. If the enemy is stunned, they cannot attack. Now this enemy is not stunned, so they're going to attack us for one. So our shield's going to go to one. And unfortunately, if we take a damage, for every point of damage you lose, permanently what was over here for future so that's not a good thing so this is stunned it can attack this one we did out maneuver so this is dead and then we get the reward for that one which is going to be the one laser we will put that in our bag and then this is dead because we outmaneuvered it and we're going to get one energy token so now we've added some tokens in here we are going to draw five more, and then if you can't draw five, then you have to warp again. So you can't look to see what's left, but you can fill around um, to see what you have in there. So right now we've got one, two, three, four. So if we don't find a way to gain one more token in this playthrough, um, we're going to have to warp. So what will happen is the ships refresh. You always have four. The enemies arrive. Now we have to do our actions. Let's go ahead and take another sip. All right, so we don't want to take any more damage if we can avoid it. So let's see what we can do. We're going to go ahead and you do a two there. We will hit this with a one. We will hit this with a one. We're going to use one energy to heal our ship. And then I'm going to spend two energy to get 
another token. So now we have our five tokens. So we'll have one more turn. So now it's the enemy's turn. This enemy is going to be dead because it took three damage and we will get another token. This enemy is now dead as well. And we're going to get a P token for power. This enemy was not stunned, so it will do one point of damage to us. We are going to lose something from our pool. This one is stunned, so it's not doing the damage to us, but it's not dead. So then we will do this again. We'll go ahead and draw our five tokens. One, two, three, four, five. We will then the got to refresh the ships that are coming in, and as you notice, this one's got three. So this is one where we're going to want to look at this. So it cannot be stunned by lasers. And this one, if it deals one damage, if it's stunned, the enemy deals three damage instead. This enemy deals one damage. If stunned, the enemy deals three damage instead. All right. So let's figure out what we're going to do. All right, we're going to go ahead and place our P. The P will do basically one damage to two targets. So we are going to go ahead and place this here. It'll do one damage to this one, one damage to this one. So these are both stunned. We will then... Let's see... Place a maneuver token on this one. We will place another damage token here. We will do two damage here. And, sorry, that should have been a maneuver token. And place this energy in the hold. So one, two, three, four, five. Actually, you know what? I mean, I spent that one. That should have been a maneuver token. Somehow I mixed up the tokens. And I think I just messed up a play there. So if somebody saw something where I shorted myself a token in that particular one, let me know. Just heard somebody in the background, so I kind of got distracted. So now we go ahead and do the ships. This one is going to take two damage. Now, because it took two damage, this one is dead. So we get to draw three tokens from the bag. And there is not three tokens from the bag to draw from, so that particular award didn't help us a whole lot. This one has a total of two damage. It's stunned. It can't do anything to us. This one's got two damage. It can't do anything to us. This one's been a maneuvered. It can't do anything to us. And then what happens now, unfortunately, is we don't have five tokens in our bag. So what happens is it warps. So when it warps, all the tokens that we used... go back into our bag all the ships that we went through on that first phase these get shuffled place back on this untaps we go to warp two we will pick two more of these and choose one so split laser this card counts as one laser against each target but cannot stun this effects last until the end of the turn so that's a good one so that's one laser does a point to everybody or tokens you gain from evade rewards this turn go directly to your pool that's not a bad one we will go ahead and pick this one we'll put this in the end and we will go ahead and start warp two so we are now on warp two, and we will go ahead and draw our five tokens. Three, four, five. We will place out our first. Wave of enemies. All right, so we are going to do two damage to this one. We will do two damage to this one we will maneuver that one 
I am going to go ahead and use. Hmm. I'm going to hold the power for just a second. I'm going to exchange these two energy for a two laser that we'll put in our bag. I'm going to put that in the hold for right now. Then we'll go ahead and go to the enemy actions. Well, this ship is dead. Actually, sorry, when that ship dies, which it did, and, and I think I did that and been doing this in the wrong order, I get three more tokens because it's dead. So before the enemies go, we're supposed to resolve these. This is dead, so I'm going to get a... I'm going to put in the bag. And the reason I got the draw three, that reward is you're drawing three from your bag to continue going. Okay, so now that we have these three, let's go ahead and... We'll kill that one, and we'll kill that one. So that's dead. We'll get that reward. That's dead. We'll get that reward. We'll put those into the bag. These are spent. This is stunned from the maneuver, so it's not going to attack us. We are going to do the enemy arriving. We will draw our five tokens. Okay. All right, so we want to get rid of this one because that one's got a lot of damage that it can do. So we're going to play the three maneuvers on that. This will destroy that ship. It will gain us an E to put into the bag. And let's double check how many tokens we have in the bag real quick. Again, remember, you can't look, but you can fill. We have one, two, three, four, five, six in the bag. So we know we're going to get one more turn before we need to warp. Okay. So I don't want to take any damage, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to place the P on this, which will do one damage to each. We will place another two damage token there and a one damage token there. So this is gonna take a total of two, three. So this one is destroyed and we're gonna gain another P token for our bag. This one's gonna have one damage and actually this one has two damage, so it's not dead, but it is stunned. So we will go ahead and do our turn again. Flip these over. Let's grab our five. And I think unless we get several tokens, so Let's double check. You got one, two, three, four, five. All right, we only have two tokens left, so we're gonna have to think what we wanna do on this one. I don't think we can gain three. All right, so this one's got a maneuver damage on it. This one's got two damage on it, and these are freshly coming out. So we're gonna remember what we can do. So I'm gonna use this card. This is gonna do one damage to every one of these ships. Now this one already had two damage, so this will make the third. So that's gonna give us a maneuver token to put into our bag. So now I believe we are up to four tokens in here. Let's double check. One, two, three. Nope, we're in three. One, two, three. So if we can find a way to get just a few more tokens, we might be able to buy ourselves another round. Let's see if we can kill anything off. So we don't have enough to do six damage. That's just not gonna work for there. Um, we don't have enough to do damage here, do damage here, but they're all gonna be stunned this turn, so they're not gonna be able to hurt us. We will go ahead and use our enhance. With the enhance, it says choose any energy or laser, exchange any number of tokens of that type from your pool with same type but the next higher value so we're going to exchange these two these two ones for two twos giving us four energy which is going to allow us to purchase some things all right we will go ahead and 
What do we want to do for four? We are going to buy a three for three points and a one. So I believe that's going to give us the tokens we need for one more round. Now, remember, everybody was stunned from this. Um, okay, so there's nothing else we can, so I'm going to move this right here. Well, actually, we want to keep that there to represent they all had one point of damage. Okay, we'll go ahead and refill the ship. We will draw our five tokens. And let's see how we want to play this now. So... I don't think we're going to be able to kill this one off. Who can we kill off? This one's got two points. We could kill it with four and just get it out of the way. But I don't think we're going to be able to kill off all these ships, so we're going to take some damage. So the best thing we could do is do this in a way where we're not going to take any damage. How do we want to do this? Let's think. All right, let's take a second to think. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do our two maneuvers here, and we will outmaneuver that to gain a two for our bag for later. This one has, we will attack this for three. With the other point that it had before, it's gonna take a four damage. We don't have three tokens in the bag, but we do have one, so we'll draw that one. Then we're down to these two. We will attack this so it's stunned. We will also put this on here so it stuns it. It counts as as a uh, as one laser. So these are stunned. I am going to use my two energy to purchase another two attack. And we will not be able to finish this round, so we will refill up our bags. And I do think I did something wrong in Warp 2, so if you, those watching it, let me know where I messed up. I, I kind of keep going back and forth. I feel like I messed up. So what we're going to do, oops, is we'll go ahead and put these in here. We will shuffle these ships back up. These now go to the pile where we have to go through them again. We will untap this. We will choose two more resource, resource cards. Okay, loop around. In step four of each turn, you may return to the bag any number of tokens you draw, then draw that many a number of tokens. Again, that's not bad. Or this one, move one enemy from the row to the bottom of the deck. I kind of like that one, so we will go ahead and pick that. This goes to the bottom. We are now going to warp three and we'll go ahead and have a drink. All right, we will now begin warp three. All right, let's go ahead and start warp three and see what we're off against. Great. We got these a couple oranges. Okay, that's not too bad. We get our five tokens. Let's see what we want to do. Okay, what do we want to do? We want to fix the camera first. We got these high damage out here, which is not fun. All right, so we're gonna do the Electro Blast, which counts as one laser. We will go ahead and place it on this to stun it. Now, what happens with Electro Blast is if it's destroyed, it then moves on to another one. We will go ahead and do two damage there. One damage there. 
We're actually going to do... We'll do one damage there. And this particular card, with this enemies in play, all tokens cost one extra energy to buy. This cannot be stunned. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place this in the hold. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to spend two energy. No, we're not going to do that one yet. Um, we're not going to do that. I'll go ahead and put this in the hole. All the enemies have been stunned, so they can't attack. We will draw five more tokens out of the bag. We will move these up here, so we know that they had been... Some people, when they play, they'll put it above. I like to I put it right there. All right, so let's see what we have for damage. All right, we got a bunch of other ones again. This is not the ideal way to do this. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do the photon, which is going to count as two damage to each. So that's going to count one there and one there, stunning both of those. We are going to go ahead and do two damage here. We will outmaneuver this one. So what's going to happen is that one's still alive. That one's still alive. This one is dead because it's been outmaneuvered and we'll get that reward, which is going to be the one energy. We'll put that in the bag. And this has a total of three damage to it. So we will get that reward, which is going to be another P. Let's go ahead and shake that up. We still have a maneuver. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to spend one of our energies to heal ourselves completely. We're going to take the ener other energy to tap this, choose one token from your pool and remove it from the game, gain one token from the supply. So we are going to remove this completely and we are going to grab a three to replace it. And then that goes into, yep, the supply. There we go. All right, these were stunned. So we will go ahead and do another wave. We will draw our five again. All right, let's see how we want to play this. All right, so this one's got two damage. This one has three damage. So we are going to go ahead and hit that for two, which is going to kill that. And we get three more tokens out of the bag. All right, let's see. So that's got three damage. We'll do five to it now total. So we are going to destroy that. We will add a two to the bag. All right, now how do we want to handle these? So let's take a look. We've got a four and a two. Let's go ahead and outmaneuver that to kill that one off. Get our reward. And I think we can kill this one off with what we've got. So how do we want to do this? Dang it. This is where I kind of messed up because you can't keep these um, on the refresh once this is done. So any unspent ones come over here. So what we are going to do, how do we want to do this? Um, I'm going to go ahead and spend my E, which will get rid of this. And it's going to upgrade it to the next level because you can't go more than three lasers. So it doesn't matter. We will go ahead and kill that one off, which is going to give us a three. And we will spend three energy to get another three for our bag. And then we're going to put that in the hole. So that didn't work out too bad. So now we need another round of ships. And really would like to know if I am doing anything wrong, please, please, please let me know. This is one of those things where when you're kind of walking through it in your head, um, 
sometimes you're playing things at a turn. But that's kind of one of the fun things about the solo game is sometimes you will do things at a turn the wrong way. But as long as you're still having fun, does not matter? Um, but it's good on these videos to play these, go back and watch them, or have people in the comment section say, hey, at this particular time you did this or you missed this play. It all helps us learn the games a little bit better. All right, so what do we want to do on this one? We definitely want to get rid of these. But what do we have? What, could, what do we have? What do we want to do? Um, let's go ahead and stun these two. So that's going to do one point to each. We'll put a maneuver here because it can't be stunned by lasers. We will go ahead and destroy that one, getting us another reward to put in the bag. And let's double check what we're in the bag because I don't know how many more tokens we've got left. Okay, I know we got more than five in here from the fill. All right, so everybody's been stunned at this point. Who can we kill off? Okay, this one has a point of damage to it already. I will go ahead and do a second point. Killing that to get us three more, which may or may not be a good play, because if I can kill off these two, um, that might be beneficial for us. Let's see how many more we have. Okay, we have one, two. Okay, we have a little bit more than five, so this might have worked out for us. Okay, can I kill off this one yet or not? So we've got one damage. That's. I can do another P, so it's going to do one to each. That's at two damage. Five, six, seven. Nice. So that one is dead, and we will get a W to add into our bags. Where is our Ws? Oh, you know what? I think I forgot our Ws. And the W is a good one because it allows you to warp ahead, which is draw three tokens from the bag and add them to your pool, so that's not too bad. And somebody may have noticed I removed um, an E from here the E's were different. So I have been playing with a different um, ship. And that's one of the things I always have to remember is when you each ship has their own power tokens to put in there. So that's one of the things you'll just kind of want to double check when you can. So apologize for that. All right, let's go ahead and we'll just use this on there as well. So now it's got two stuns. We've got a two energy. And we will go ahead and spend that two to get another two laser. Yeah, I feel like I've done a, several misplays on this one, so I do apologize for that. We will go ahead and draw. Now, we don't have four ships on here, so we will just be fighting these. I do not think we're going to have enough tokens to defeat these three and the mothership, but we'll go ahead and go. One, two, three, four, five. We've got three tokens left. So let's see what we can do. All right, so we will do one of our tokens to use this. So it's gonna count as one laser against each target, um, but cannot stun. Oh, okay, this lasts until the end of the turn. I think we played that wrong. So each one of these has one point of damage. And can we kill any off to get an extra turn? Nope, there's a nine there and an eight there. Five, six. This has one damage to it. I don't want to take these damages. So we will go ahead and go three, two, one. Spend an energy to get something for our bag. And we do not have five tokens. So we are going to go have to warp again. So now since we stunned the ships, they can attack us. And again, I did have a couple misplays in that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and let this play. I, I think it's important on these gameplay videos that when you do something wrong, um, you leave it in there because it shows one of those things that I think a lot of people have when they're playing these games is, well, what if I do something wrong? What if I make a mistake? Well, that's going to happen. So it's going to happen. Don't worry about it. Um, go back. It, the important thing is, are you having fun? Are you enjoying the game? Um, you know, that's one of the beauties of playing a solo game is, 
you know, even if you mess up and do something weird, as long as you're having a good time, you're enjoying the game, then what what does it matter? Obviously, you want to play by the rules and try and win, um, but you're going to have misplays and things like that. And especially when you're not recording, how often do you go back and see your misplays? All right, so we are going to go ahead and start over. We are on the last warp, so we have to defeat this mothership or we are going to lose. Let's see which special power we want on this one. Laser tokens you assign to target this turn count as double their value. Ooh, that's a good one. Target requires one less maneuver. Let's go with the double the value because I think we're going to need that. So I think this is going to be a close call. I don't know that we've built our bag good enough to get through all these. We will find out. So we are going to go ahead and finish the final round on this. All right, we are now on the final warp against the Dread. Let's go ahead and take our tokens. Let's see who our first wave is. All right, let's see what we got here. What do we have? Okay, we will go ahead and we will put two on each one of these. Actually, no. We are going to put one damage to this, stunning both of those. We will go ahead and kill this one. We will put two damage there, and then we will store that energy. So let's see who we kill off first. We killed off this one. So we will get a maneuver to add to our bag. Each one of these is now stunned. This has two damage against it. This has one damage against it. We will go ahead and grab another card. Let us go ahead and grab R5. And before I forget, I'm going to use this token to choose one from my pool and remove it from the game and add something to my supply. I'm going to go ahead and remove that from the game. And I am going to add a three laser to put into our bag. All right, so this one's got two against us. So if we do that, that's gonna be five. So that is now dead. We will get a two laser to add to our bag. All right, we can, this has one damage against it. So we are going to do three. That's the four. And we'll get a three to add to our bag. All right, we will do another double. So it's gonna stun those. So this one has two damage against it now, and that one has one damage against it. We will go ahead and hit that for two, which is now doing three damage to it. We will go ahead and draw our two more cards. Oops. We will draw our five tokens. Oh, wrong bag. <laughs> That's what happens when you're not paying attention, right? One, two, three, four, five. All right, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Okay, so this has two. This has two. Let's go ahead and kill that one off. And we will get to draw three tokens from the bag. Two, three. All right, we will go ahead and, how do we wanna do this? We will maneuver here. We will do, 
How do we want to do this? Um, that's right. Laser tokens you assign to targets this turn can do double damage. So do I want to spend two to do double damage? Let's see. Four, eight. Two, four, six. Nope. Hmm. We might want to save that. This counts as laser against everyone. And move an enemy from the row to the bottom of the deck. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and spend this two energy to put this one to the bottom of the deck. Um, buying us some time because it, it was a larger one. And let's see. Now, how do we want to do this? Can I kill off any of these? I've got four damage here. All right, I'm going to use the W token, which is going to let us draw three from our pool. Okay. And we are going to go ahead and go three, six to kill that. And we will get an R. And just like I did before, see these R's are this. They are supposed to be those. So let's go ahead and replace those out. It's a good thing I noticed that. I was kind of watching for that with the different powers being out. So let's replace those. And what does this R do anyway? This R... Activates one skill card. You must use that skill card this turn. Oh, that's cool. All right. And then we will go ahead and do two damage to it. We'll store that. We're going to buy a two laser. So now this one has two, three, four damage against it. Let's draw our five. We need another one of these. All right, we go ahead and outmaneuver that one. Actually, wait. Um, hmm. Do we want to do that? Do we want to double it? Not yet. Okay, we will go ahead and use this maneuver card to kill off this one, which will give us a laser to add to the bag. We will go ahead and place a maneuver card on this one. So this one already has one, two, three, four. I don't want to waste it. We'll do six. Actually, you know what? We'll do this first. We'll do two there to draw three more from the bag. Great. All right. We don't want to use that yet. So we've got one, two, one, two, three four, seven. So that'll be seven damage to that. We will add another W to the bag. Ugh. We will take our three energy and buy another three damage. All right, and I don't want to use these. Mm. Hmm. But these go away because you have to spend your tokens when you draw. Can I use these for anything? I don't want to draw more tokens, so we don't want to use that. I don't want to use this because it's going to make me draw three more tokens, which we don't want to do. All right, these are just wasted. So we'll go ahead and have a refresh of enemies. 
Dang it. I misplayed that. That really hurt. We will draw R5. I can't. Yeah, that really hurt. Okay. All right, we are gonna go ahead and use our enhance, which is going to bump everything up one point. We're gonna choose lasers. So these are gonna become twos and this is gonna become a three. So we're gonna get three twos and one three. So three twos and one three. That's a nice way to go. All right, so first, Let's kill off this one so we can get another laser. Then, yeah, we really need to be able to outmaneuver these. Okay, let's see. Double. Where's that one that was double? That's one laser for each. That's an energy. That's double. That's not going to work. So I'm going to have to go two there, two there. And you know what? We'll just do this. That's going to do one each. That's going to count as two, which is going to give me a P token. But there is we've used all the power tokens. So there's only three. I won't take another one. But at least this one is destroyed. These have been stunned. This has three points of damage against it. This has two points of damage against this. We will go ahead and draw our five. Two, three, four, five. Ugh. And we are down to one, two, three, four tokens. This is not going to go well. So we're going to go ahead and use this to do one damage to each of these. So now this has uh, three damage, three, four. This one has three. Um, yeah, well, this isn't going to work. So three, six. So three, six, nine, we'll kill that. This will give us a question. The question is, gain one power token of any type from the supply. Um, I really don't think we're going to have anything that's going to help us. Um, I'll go ahead and do the warp ahead and put that in there. All right. Let's go ahead and max damage that one. So that's three, six, seven. We'll put the dodge or the in there. We will grab our last remaining tokens and we're not going to be able to do anything on this one. So this has one, two, three, four, actually, sorry, three, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can pick another token out of here. Um, doesn't matter because you now we'll take the one token. So now what will happen is we can fight the mothership. The problem is we don't have a whole lot to fight it with. So I can go ahead and do the warp ahead, which is going to allow us to dra grab, but we only had one token. Um, I have an overdrive so I can place it between two and it's basically it counts as a maneuver. So I can overdrive there and then that would technically be stunned. I can overdrive there and that's technically stunned. Unfortunately, all my damage is left. The most I can do is five damage, which would not be able to destroy any one of these. I have no more tokens, so that means we lost the game. Um, which kind of sucks, but I did misplay a lot on that. So I really don't mind if I misplay and lose the game because then at least, you know, I don't feel like I had a win I didn't deserve. So I really would love to hear in the comment section of when you go back and find a game, if you played it wrong and you lost it, but you lost it because you played it wrong or sorry, if you won because you played it wrong, does it matter to you? Or is it one of those things? Do you make a note? Like on, on the boxes, I'll always put on every game I have, we always put um, who we played and did you win or lose. And then I always put an asterisk if I know I did something wrong just to kind of see what it was. 
Um, I really do appreciate everybody taking the time to watch another playthrough of Warp's Edge. Um, definitely, you know, you know, a good Sunday morning whiskey to add to your coffee is the Jameson Cold Brew. Um, can't recommend that enough. And until next time, folks, cheers.